coming? No. Oh, something's weird with this wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> For you people that are usually up here. Holy. Look, there's a log floating over there. The water is so high. Usually the water's like right here, usually. For those of you who don't, don't know how high it is. Usually the water is down at the bottom of these rocks right here. And this is our, our sign for the resort. Yeah, it's right next to the water level. I think they said this was flooded a week ago. So the water's come down like a foot already. That's a storm cloud over there. We're back home. <laughs> in Gunfoot Lake, Gunfoot Pines Resort. That's my mom's resort. This is our marina. Usually we have another dock over here, one here, one here, and then one over here. But since the water is so high, we can't really get on the beach to actually roll the docks in because they're actually on wheels. So my mom built some cribs last summer. Well, Wyatt did last fall. And they're over there under the water. And when he built them, they were on shore. So that's crazy. And the cribs are like, I don't know, they're like three, three and a half feet tall. So pretty nice night. We're gonna have a fire. And then I don't know what we're gonna do with the rest of the trip. Probably fish maybe tomorrow. Got my brother's wheeler ripping. Help bomb fix a water line <laughs> already. I don't know, we're gonna start a fire and see who comes, checks it out. Yeah, should be a pretty fun weekend. Let's go find out. I'll grab kindling. Roach these. A little rainy today. Me and Shay are gonna go fishing. So I used to catch a lot of walleyes here. I'm just gonna tie on the wind rig on both of these rods. Egg sinker, like eighth ounce, this is eighth ounce. Two little barrel swivels. I think these are eight odd octopus hooks. Tie on your barrel swivel, get your lead, probably two feet, three feet. Put the egg sinker on your lead, on your line coming out of your rod. Tie to your barrel swivel and add your hook to the end of your line. And you grab a jumbo lead, not the suction cup side, the mouth side, just like that. So I'll just float close to shore. These walleye should be close to shore, especially on a day like today. They should be eating because it's overcast. So we're going to be closer to shore, pulling it's like eight foot of water, and we'll just pull up the shoreline really slow. We should know pretty fast that they're here. Fishing this way, you pull really slow. You want to feel the bottom, and then you open your bail up, and you hold your line with your finger so that when you feel a fish, feel a bite, you want to you want to let them take the line out so you can eat it so you can hook them because the hooks are really 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 small so if you set the hook right away there's a good chance you won't catch them. 
got me. Cold purple. Going back. Woo! Flicker shad. Golden purple. Back treble hook came right out. I got scatter wrap on now. Hurt scatter wrap because that's the only thing left I have that looks like lure I just had out there. Alright, this is what I'm using right now to troll lake trout on. It suspends, it's like a trick bait. This is our last spot we're going to troll for Lake Trout and we're going to lindy rig just a little more and then go home. Alright y'all. Well we only caught, what, three northern and a Lake Trout? Three northern and one Lake Trout. A little tiny Lake Trout. But it's kind of getting a little darker. We forgot our headlamps, so we were going to maybe night fish tonight, but it's kind of crappy out anyways, so we're going to head her back for the night, and we'll see what tomorrow brings. Got a fish on. Thank you. 
Here you go, buddy. Here you go, buddy. Now well, if we could catch what we're aiming for, that'd be great. Oh, you hammered it. Yep, I got no, no. That blade trout, here we go. Finally, little lake trout. Yeah. We've been going after these suckers all day, all, all evening. Caught them on a, uh, gosh, what are these called again? I can't remember today. Uh, something shad wrap. Shad wrap. That's what they're called. Oh, oh, oh. Here you want this one? All right, that's the second pass with the fish now. Blink trout, there we go. There we go. <laughs> yes! That's awesome. A little bigger. I gave Shay the lure that I thought would catch it, and then I caught it on hers. It won't stop moving! <laughs> Come on, buddy. There we go, number two Laker, second pass in a row. We're gonna keep him. Got that last one on a little flicker shad, so I put on a flicker shad. That's what we just caught that fish on, so. Got two. I'm still marking fish here, so. Oh, he's staying low. Ah, she hammered it. I think it's a northern. Pretty good northern. Thing's pulling like a son of a gun. It's a northern. Oh, stop it, boy! Stop, boy! Oh my gosh! Here we go. Here we go. In the water. Holy moly. Oh yeah, it's a lake trout. No way. Get him. Get him in here. No, he's gonna get out. No, 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 just lift, lift. Don't reel, don't reel, lift. Lift. It's a nice one. Yeah. Alright, no, just, just lift to me. Oh, nice, babe. Nice. No way. What just happened? Look at that, Shay's fish. <laughs> Shay's lake trout, look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Yes! Again! Let's go again! We're, we're trolling for walleyes out here. Seven feet of water. That's awesome, that's what we came for. Just about to go. Go down the lake back home for the night, for the eat weekend actually. Right on this drop off. That's awesome. All right, and I'm ending tonight's video right here. We're just gonna troll a little bit in front of the Cross River Bridge. I gotta take my GoPro mount down because I gotta put my lights in now. But uh, if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up and hit the like button, subscribe button, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you on the next video. Jared from Northern Tactics. Ben Shea. We'll see you. Bye.